Vandaag zijn er twee bedelaars in de trein geweest. Het was raar. Ja, ze raakten ook niet zo lekker. Algo que queremos hacer es ver el Acrópolis y otros sitios arqueológicos también. Vamos a hacerlo con nuestros amigos Minos y Susi. Wat dacht u van het museum? Uh, het museum is, uh, is interessant. Um, I think uh, for me, I thought it was probably a little disappointing. I was expecting a little bit more. Don't ask me what I was expecting. But I, what were you expecting? Uh, please don't ask me that. <laughs> it was still good. Cinco euros per persona. Y creo que, que fue vale la pena. No sé por qué Rob está decepcionado, por, pero... Uh, me gustaba mucho el museo, vale la pena, para 5 euros, no es mucho. Hemos comido también unos, un souvlaki que, que fue muy rico y me gustaba mucho. Y ahora vamos a ir a la Acrópolis mismo. <risa> Hemos pagado 30 euros per persona para ir al dentro de la Acrópolis. Well, we're actually in the Acropolis now. Yeah. I'm here with my wife, obviously, who's here with everything. Mm. And then Minos and Susie over there. Uh, it looks amazing. See it up there. Our tour guide. This uh -huh. is our tour guide, Minos. You had the... The Manolan civilization, which was from about 2500 to 1200 BC, and they were the strongest up until about, I think it was about 1500. They were bull worshippers. Now, you know the story you told us about the white bull? Yeah. The story that I heard was that Zeus fell in love with this woman and she was gorgeous, but Zeus's emblem was a bull or an eagle. So he made himself into a bull, oh. and he had sex with him, right? Okay. And out of that came the, the minotaur. minotaur, right? The one at Delphi, did you go to the one at Delphi? Yeah. We saw it, we saw the theatre, yeah. Right. In that theatre, you can sit anywhere along. Now, don't forget, this one's going right up to see the top of the steps. Yeah, yeah. Right? You can light a match, and even at the back, you will hear it. The acoustics are that good? Yeah. Found the missing Susie. I couldn't stop on the hill, otherwise I'd go backwards. <laughs> so I just slowly, slowly. And this is a marble seat. Oh, so it's nice cool. And cool. <laughs> We're just trying to work out what that is up on the hill. Future Nicole here. Remember when Google Maps took us up a hill on the way home to our Airbnb a few episodes back? Well, that was actually Philopapa's Hill, and it's also the hill we can't quite identify here. No idea. I think that must be there somewhere. Yeah. Because we can see that but not the effect. We can make it for the world to see because now I know. Echt een mooie uitzicht. We zijn nog niet aan de Parthenon. Thank you. 
Robinson Bay is very comfortable. <laughs> Es un edificio que ha sido para los dioses griegos y también ha sido uh, una iglesia cristiana y también un mosque. Cada conquistador ha cambiado el Parthenon para su propia religión. Creo que también es una lástima porque sí, las, las personas siempre quieren destruir todo. We're also told that although it looks straight, it's actually an optical illusion because things that are built straight appear curved in perspective. And so they built these curved so that the optical illusion makes it look straight. And if you look closely, it's not, the columns aren't actually straight, they're slightly uh, con convex. That is the Areopagus, where we were. That's where we climbed up and that's where St. Paul did his sermon to the unknown God. It was actually quite clever because there were laws at the time about speaking out against the, the Olympian gods, the Greek gods at the time. But he didn't speak out against the Olympian gods. He just started talking about another god. And it was like a little loophole. And so they couldn't imprison him or anything. So they just kind of said, okay, thank you. Now it's time for you to go. And he then went on to Corinth, which is where he stayed for like nearly two years and developed his sermon there. Es maravilloso estar aquí en el Parthenon, en el Acropolis, en, en Atenas también, pero hace mucho calor aquí. That's the Parthenon there. And this is the city of Athens. I don't even need a drone to see it. Don't forget to subscribe to join us in our travels.